Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do something really cool in Sketch. I was inspired by Arden Rose's pin that she pinned on Pinterest showing you how to do like this kind of gold text overlay but via Photoshop and I don't have Photoshop. So I was like, can I do this in Sketch? And I figured out a way. Um, to do it. The instructions are vaguely similar, but the steps are obviously different because it's different software. So Sketch is a tool I use. This is not a sponsored video, but it's a tool I use that's basically a medium between PowerPoint and like a generic, very inexpensive you know, slide creator, text creator, and a Photoshop, which I find to be very robust and hard to navigate. So this is Sketch. Um, I'll just show you the about page. This is version 3.8. It's by Bohemian Coding, but if you Google Sketch app, you'll find it. It's like $99 or something for a lifetime subscription or just to buy it outright. Um, but anyway, so if you have Sketch, this is going to work. Again, we're doing text overlay. Now they used gold foil and I really like that. So I found a gold foil image and I saved it to my desktop here. Um, and I will link to that in the description of this video, but basically this is how you do it. Okay. So you're going to create a new artboard. I'll just whip one out here. Um, gold foil text. And the first step is inserting your text. So you want to make sure that you really, really like the text because you can't change it really after the first step. Um, so let me just quickly do something. I'll just do my name. And you want it, to, again, to be the exact look and feel that you want before you go on to the next stage. So I'm going to change this a bit. I don't like this text. Even for a demo, I don't like this text. Okay, that's kind of funky and ugly. Ugh. Here, we'll do that. That's wicked, wicked funky. And kind of hard to read, but for the purpose of this video, whatever. Okay, so once you love your text and it's perfect, perfect size, perfect typeface, perfect weight, etc., you are going to right click and you convert it to outlines. Now, once you press this button, again, you can't really change the text, so make sure that you love it, and then it's converted. Now comes the fun part. You're going to insert the image of whatever you want to fill the text with. Now, I'm going to show you gold, and you want the gold texture here, the file that you use, the image, to ride above the text item. As you can see, there's my name, but it's below on this list. Um, below the gold texture. Now I'm gonna shrink down this because it's really pixelated. So I'm gonna shrink down this image. And it's fallen off my artboard, so I'm gonna have to find it. There we go. Bring it back to the artboard. La la la, zoom in. Bear with me here. Okay, so it's a little bit less pixely now. Now what we do is we go back to the text and we're gonna right click it again and we say mask. And there it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. And basically what you would do now, if you wanna export this and overlay it over your video, like is done here, you, you know, you can kind of overlay it above a video or above another image, whatever you want. Um, you just highlight the artboard and you click make exportable. As you can see, it'll just export the text with the gold um, filling, not the background. If you want a background color, you can do that and you can choose a color here, but I do not. I'm going to want to overlay this and that's how you would do it. And you just click export, name it, choose a spot, save it for web and click save. So if I do gold foil text, Carolyn to my desktop, save, it'll appear here. And then you can just overlay it like you would in iMovie or whatever video editing software you like. Um, as a quick demo, if you wanna see what it would look like with another image, you can remove, um, blind out the gold text and insert another image. I'm going to do this fruit image because I think it, look, it could look cute. 
I'm not sure though. Um, okay, and the reason it looks funky now is because it's super zoomed in. So again, I'm gonna resize this down. Find it in the stratosphere. Where is it? Hello. Oh my gosh, way out there. Um, and bring it back to my artboard and zoom back in. Still resize it down even more because I want to really be able to see the fruit. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ah! Okay, kind of hard to read, but if this just said like fruit in a much simpler text, it'd be really, really cute. Oh my God, I love this trick. I really like it with a photo. Um, you could do, like I said, a photo or a texture and either way. Obviously, this is more legible, but this is so funky and fun. Whoa. Okay, life-changing. I love this. See you next time. Thanks for watching.